Hello there and welcome to Seek Truth and Speak Truth. Uh, some of you may have seen or some of you may not. Um, a channel called Baldy Cats did a debunking video on me. And he debunked me. I was wrong. Um, I was down the wrong path. Uh, I feel like I'm at an AA meeting here. Um, I'm wrong. The earth isn't flat. Um, and I'll try and explain why. But also, I'm going to be uh, doing a sort of stream with Baldy Cats. Uh, so he's going to sort of explain some things, uh, questions I still have unanswered. But I am certain that we live on a sphere. Um, there's still so much that I don't know. Um, NASA, space, all of this sort of stuff. Um, the pictures of Earth, I still don't believe. Uh, they are CGI uh, stitched together photos or um, images. Um, but some of the older photos, uh, they may be right. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, one thing that stu stood out to me during uh, Baldy Cat's debunking uh, was when we mentioned uh, the moon phases or he debunked what I had said about it that proved that we lived on a flat earth. Uh, on my channel, I think the, sh the um, video is called It's Flat Guys, It's Flat. Um, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely 100% believed in it. I wouldn't have sat there and made, I don't know, about 18, 19 videos creating content um it was a true belief of mine uh and i i basically i don't want to use this word but i got fooled um and i'm not a fool and i know that 99 percent of people that believe in flat earth are not fools um we're you're not unintelligent um it's just a case of misinformed maybe um I was creating my content in full knowledge at the time that I was speaking and seeking truth and I want to continue to do so. Uh, I'm going to continue with the channel. I'm going to keep up my old videos um, so people may be able to see the process, the journey that I went through uh, and understanding how just one interaction with this, this guy, uh, Baldy Cats, uh, basically made me think critically and look at the other side um yeah i used to say oh you know water can't stick to a spinning ball um show me an experiment where water can can you know you can make water curve uh these are loaded questions really because of course nobody is going to be able to out compete the earth and make water bend around a ball um it's impossible um we would have to it's an impossible experiment and uh, that's how people like me are easily drawn in um gas pressure without a container logically it makes sense that oh my god yeah that you're correct um there must be a dome above us there must be something holding this air in um but it is a complete and utter lacking in understanding of science um, and I will admit that now. Um, it's easy to go with your gut instincts. And what a lot of people say. And I did myself. Is follow your senses. Um, do you feel like you're moving? Um, uh, but science can explain all of this. But we just overlook it. We don't even look into it. Or if we do. We unfortunately don't understand it. Um, but I am going to further my seeking truth like i say uh and hopefully people will still stay subscribed to me um i'll obviously completely understand if you don't um but this is my truth and i like i say i'm going to carry on carry on talking about it um i want to apologize to uh, i'd imagine he subscribes to me uh, but he's a ball earther um a guy called roy van seven uh He's always comment, commenting on my stuff and showing me proofs and 
talking and I, I just never really, really looked into it. Um, I was blinkered, my, I was, you know, my mind was clouded. Um, I basically wanted the earth to be flat. I wanted to be different. Um, it felt good. Uh, and I think that's how we slip. Um, it, it is a conspiracy. Um, curvature has been measured. Um, just one simple snap out of a moment of just Google, has the earth been measured? Uh, the curvature. And it has on multiple, multiple occasions, but the words curvature has never been measured gets uttered millions of times a day on Facebook alone. Um, and people people don't even look into it. We don't even look into it. Um, like I said, I will never badmouth a flat earther or use the word flattard because I was one. Um, but I honestly think we need to continue on this journey. Anyone that believes in flat earth is an interesting person. They obviously like uh, thinking in different ways and looking into things, but unfortunately you are looking in the wrong places, as I was. Um, science isn't bad. They're not all in, in on it. Um, I think it, it comes down to a little bit of jealousy, even on my part. Um, maybe if my circumstances were different and I did follow a different path, uh, I I could well be teaching high end astrophysics. I don't know, but um, I don't know enough to really uh, be sitting here and trying to show you, say, scientific experiments like I did previously, uh, trying to prove that the moon was illuminating itself uh, by showing a football, and people obviously brought up the fact that obviously if the moon is made of rock and dirt and you're using a a plastic football as a comparison that's not science um and i kind of get that now and we we are swayed into thinking and believing these people and i apologize if i've been one of those um i am doing a complete turnaround um if a thousand people tell you you're wrong and 20 people tell you you're right, you're probably wrong. Um, scientists love proving things and if the earth was flat, it would be proven that it was flat. Um, they love investigating um, and that's what I thought I was doing but I wasn't. I was just going down a path. Um, it made me feel good. Um, I still believe in creation. Um, not affiliation with any sort of religion as such, but I personally believe what we have right now in existence, in intelligence, cannot be here uh, without creation. Um, I think someone said, uh, you know, how can you explain how a, a PC got built without a creator of it? You know, if you take away creation, uh, how would these parts all form into a working computer? Um, evolution, billions of years, maybe, I don't know. Um, people say evolution hasn't been proven, and that is, at the moment, still what I believe, because I haven't looked into that again yet. Um, but has it been proven? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, um, like I say, I hope you still carry on watching, um, but I want to explain how I realised that the moon is not local, and it was in Baldy Katz's uh, video that he did, uh, debunking mine. I'll leave a link to that. Um, like I say, just open your minds again and at least just look at the other side and don't look at it from, oh, all of them lot are indoctrinated. Uh, they're all in on it. Everything's a conspiracy. Just look at it with a critical mind um, and just think logically. Um, which I was always asking you guys to do before, and I wasn't thinking logically. But, right, I'm going to get out of ball again, I'm sorry. Um, specular highlight, woo! Um, right, so say this is the moon. Uh, one side's lit up the sun, one side isn't. Um, imagine this is the flat plain. Australia one side, Argentina the other. Um, and I thought 
when I was seeing photos that this proved a flat earth uh, because you would think obviously locally, you know, if both of those places can see the moon at the same time, it has to be flat. And that's just what my mind instantly thought. But what obviously uh, Baldy Cats brought up was say, you know, if one person is this side of the moon and one person is that side of the moon, we would see the moon differently if it was so local. Um, you know, the angle, one side would see a full moon, one side would basically see the dark side of the moon or have, you know, no moon. If you were opposite those two, you'd see a half moon. Uh, so pick everywhere on Earth, you'd always see a different phase of the moon. Uh, but obviously, put the moon much further away and then suddenly the angle doesn't really matter anymore. Um, and we all, do all see basically the same angle of the moon if you can see the moon at that time on Earth. So that basically flat out proves that the moon is not local. Um, it would definitely have to be, uh, you know, much further away than what most of Flat Earth claims. Uh, and to me, really now thinking critically, just that alone has has debunked Flat Earth. Um, it might not to you, um, but it really, really does. Um, again, is thinking critically about the situation. Um, I will continue with videos, and obviously, as I learn, I hope to help you learn. Um, when I started this, I said I'm not a mathematician and I'm not a scientist, um, and I'm not. Uh, maybe that's why really I should not have got so far into what I was talking about being so uninformed. Um, I feel a little bit embarrassed to be honest because I genuinely feel like I'm a good guy and I want to continue this and try and help people. Um, I still love conspiracies, I'm still going to talk about them. Antarctica, there's still something going on there. Hidden land, I don't know. but there's still a lot going on that I hope that will interest you that I'd like to talk about um, also you know I used to overlook this one people in Australia see the moon upside down it is only possible on a ball if one person sort of standing upright like that and one standing upright that way the moon's going to be upside down um, we live on a ball um, I have massive, uh, lots of other questions like how does all that water stick to a spinning ball um, and I'm going to look into it and obviously I know the I know the answer is gravity, I used to take the piss of gravity, I used to try and debunk it all the time uh, but it's just that I didn't understand it um, but a lot of people do uh, and I'm going to seek help from those people. Uh, and then hopefully, like I say, you follow that journey. Um, is Flat Earth put out as a conspiracy by the CIA? I don't know. I don't know why why, why they would. But I still have distrust of governments and the way this world is run 100%. I still, you know, 9-11, definite inside job. Uh, we are the pawns of the world uh, for the kings and queens to play their games but you know I don't think it would be put out like that but they want people divided divide and conquer so I'm like I say I I think I'm fairly intelligent and I went down the rabbit hole too far uh, and I've started to believe in people uh, and especially some of the big names, they showed me attention early on. Um, and I loved it, you know. Uh, seemed to gain respect, felt a bit of a guru status coming on. And I, I went down the rabbit hole. But uh, Baldy Cats, luckily his arms were long enough. And he managed to get me out. I know a lot of people did try along the way. Like I say, Roy Van, I'm sorry. Hope you still continue to watch and and, and show support to the channel. Uh, but yeah guys, it's over, this episode I mean, but the channel is going to continue, it's not flat guys, it's not, um, that's a shocker for me to say, I'd come out to all my friends and family, I'd even lost friends over it, but maybe that's what's helped, because they would have been fake friends anyway if they, if they went because of those reasons, so yeah.
It's not flat, but keep coming back, guys. Peace.